Hey, Gerald Lucas here. I just bought this house in East Orange. I'm going to renovate it and sell it. I'm going to take you through it a little bit. My guys are already working it. I closed on it today. So, right here, we're taking out the cabinets. Um, going to put your cabinets, put in your kitchen in here. I'm going to show you the before and after. Got to put the ceiling up here. New floors, new cabinets, etc. Um, we got that in here. This house has uh, good bones, though. Should be a pretty light job, but it's a nice house. Gonna take you through it real quick. Bathroom. Got hardwood floors. Gonna be finishing these bad boys. All right. And got an attic up here too. They're gonna make it look nice. That will should increase the appeal. Gerald Lucas, stay tuned for After Repair. Hey, I'm Gerald Lucas. I'm a real estate investor here at a property in East Orange that I bought a couple of months ago that I renovated and we're finishing up here for an, uh, we're getting ready for an open house tomorrow. So we'll start on the first floor. Um, I try to keep the floor here. There's no hard wood on this floor. But we had to uh, actually replace it so we used a, a laminate floor here. Let's walk into the kitchen, see what, what we did here. We did the kitchen, new tile, countertop, cabinets, stainless steel appliances. You know, the point when you, when you, the point of renovating a house really, uh, to fix and flip, is to maximize your profit. So, I got stainless steel appliances, but you know, I paid $600 for this stainless steel refrigerator at Best Buy. I could have spent four or $5,000 for a stainless steel refrigerator but it wouldn't have really increased the value of the property so the point is when you renovate properties you want to find that balance between um, you know your renovation costs and maximizing the value of the property so that you can maximize your profit you can always overspend this is a working class neighborhood which is you know the kind of neighborhoods that I prefer to buy fix and flip if it was a higher end renovation I would probably have granite countertops etc but it's important that you renovate up to kind of the level of character of the neighborhood that you're in. So we did the kitchen. As I said, we're finishing up for an open house. I also st staged the property as well to make it look, um, for buyers to actually be able to picture themselves living in the property. So it's a nice touch. As I said, we're doing an open house tomorrow. Try to maintain the things that were already nice here. Um, stained glass, we put new light fixtures in. Staircase going up to the second floor, and the second floor has hard wood, so we maintain those. Had that sanded and stained. People like hard wood. Go up to the second floor. Now the bathroom was in pretty good shape, so we didn't have to redo the floor. We just uh, professionally painted the tub, added a new uh, vanity toilet light fixture. And this was already in pretty good shape, so we maintain this. As I said, we um, sanded and stained the floors. This floor has three bedrooms. And as I said, we maintain the, the hardwood. Now, the stairs going up to the attic level, where we have three, three rooms, had kind of a crappy laminate on it, so we chose to put carpet here going up. So you kind of got to work with what you have. And again, the point is to maximize your profit. So you want to spend enough to maximize the, the value of, of the finished product without spending too much and spending all your, all your profit. So we'll go up to the third floor, the attic. We got three rooms here. 
I said we're finishing things up for an open house tomorrow. Hope to get an offer right away. So we'll move on to the next project. I'm Gerald Lucas, and I'll see you next time.